Hello everyone, welcome back to another, not a studio vlog this time, I'm doing a old fashioned painting time lapse with a little bit of voiceover. It's been a while since uh, I've done a video in this format, mostly because I haven't actually recorded any painting or illustration work for a for a good while, but uh, one day, a few weeks ago, I got the inspiration to actually sit down away from my computer and paint a little bit. So we actually have some painting footage this time and um, it's a character for my next comic. The character does not have a name yet, none of the characters do. I just call him the wiener dog because that, that's what he is, but I finally actually um, decided on a name for the comic itself. It is called Journey Upstream and uh, I even set up a little website for it. It's, um, it's just like a placeholder website with a little bit of information and um, yeah, the comic itself is not going to start until next year, like around the beginning winter time of next year. So don't get excited just yet. I have not drawn a single page. I have not even started drawing any pages. I'm still in the scripting and prepping phase for it. But uh, yeah, at least it has a name and a website. Uh, next, next, I think I need to start coming up with names for the characters. <laughs> no, I actually have a good amount of time because I'm going to make a little prologue. Prologue? I don't know how to say that word. Prologue. You know what I mean. Um, for a comic, that's um, probably going to take me a couple months to draw. And I don't think I need the names of the characters just yet. But I guess it would be kind of a good idea to at least have the names of your main characters figured out before you start drawing pages. <laughs> so yeah, that's on my to-do list. Alongside 150 other things. So yeah. And, uh, of course, number one on the to-do list is... Uh... Oh, by the way, I didn't actually mention anything about the drawing itself. Um, watercolors, obviously. Um, I'm doing like a limited palette, palette. So I'm only using like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. And counting them as I see them on the screen. <laughs> But yeah, I have a really hard time picking colors when I'm painting with watercolors and it really helps if I limit myself from like the get-go rather than having like a big full palette and I just get overwhelmed. I keep second guessing my color choices. I feel like I'm using too few of them or too many. So yeah, just going for a handful at the most. It's, uh, it's a good number for me. Honestly, I could probably just go with like four colors and uh, that would be plenty. Like even this amount of colors, I, was, I felt like I was constantly struggling with the choices. But uh, it turned out good in the end. Uh, but yeah, what was I talking about before I felt like I needed to mention the painting a little bit? Um, oh yeah, my next thing that I need to obviously do is uh, finish the testimony comic. Like before I can start drawing pages for this, I need to finish that one. And I am about one month away from finishing according to my to-do list or task tracker. I have a handful of pages left to ink and color and maybe a dozen maybe fewer to add letters to like to the texts 
dialogue bubbles. Then I'm gonna need to do proofreading, um, a little bit of editing, I guess, at the same time. I'm mostly doing the editing work while I'm doing the lettering. So I've already done like one editing pass over almost all of the pages, but still gonna be proofreading. Then I need to like set them up into a readable format to post to people and uh, then it will be ready to share and it will be a huge relief even though I'm kind of stressing out about it a little bit now because you know the end of a comic is always the part where I'm going like ah it's so horrible I hate it it's so bad I don't want anyone to see it blah 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 but obviously it's it's just fine I'm just freaking myself out about my work as usual. But once that's finished, then I'm really excited to start uh, drawing pages for this comic. And um, yeah, excited and scared because obviously, um, just as finishing a comic is very stressful and. Um, makes you doubt yourself. Starting a comic is just as horrifying. <laughs> like obviously the beginning needs to be good. It needs to really set the stage for what's to come. And the artwork needs to be good. I need to figure out the art style that I'm gonna be using. So, you know, a lot of the prep work that I'm doing as far as doing illustrations for the comic is um, style testing, like I want to figure out the style of like the line art and the coloring and the characters and uh, stuff like that before I start doing the comic so that I don't have to regret the style that I chose like 20 pages in and then be like oh I want to start from the beginning, I want to redraw all the pages. <laughs> Thankfully the prologue is going to have like a, a secondary art style in a way. Uh, I guess I shouldn't say too much to not spoil stuff. But it's not going to have the exact same art style as the main comic itself. So it's not such a huge uh, pressure to have like that art style be something that is going to be good for like a couple hundred pages because it's only gonna be like 15 pages maybe so you know I can go back and tweak things if I'm not happy without it reflecting the whole rest of the comic and I don't need to be worried about oh is this a sustainable style like obviously you can't pick a style that is so difficult to draw that is going to take you twice as long to make one page compared to some other style. I mean you could but then you're gonna have to deal with having to spend that much time on each page and obviously even if I do want to go for more of a quality over quantity with this comic and the Journey Upstream comic and not worry so much about posting a maximum amount of pages each week. I still want it to not take me 10 years to finish it. <laughs> so, you know, I, I want to have more pages than two a month or something. I want to do... I'm going to aim for two pages a week, which is... Um, I don't know, I I worry that even at that pace I'm going to have to cut corners on the quality, which I don't want to do, so maybe it will be end up will end up like 1.5 pages a week. I don't know. We'll see once I actually get uh, get to drawing pages and get used to the art style that I'm going to choose. Because obviously you're slower in the beginning as you get used to the art style that you're doing and the characters 
and then you get a little bit faster doing the same quality but uh, yeah you get used to all the different things you do to get the same result without having to think so much and uh, erase and redraw all the time you know so yeah that's what i'm kind of worried about or not even worried just uh, pre-stressing myself out the whole um, first 20 pages of the comic is always the most difficult from uh, from my previous experiences how many comics have you actually done now or started i guess four yeah so this is going to be my fifth experience of starting a new comic but anyway, this uh, this painting is done. Um, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. If I have some time or inspiration, or I just manage to kick myself in the butt, I do want to make more of these little paintings of maybe the other characters. Because it's good to sometimes not paint on the computer, get... Uh, get a little bit of aura kind of painting practice in there every now and then and uh, yeah let's um um wrap up the video with just quick uh, quick garden updates uh, number one it is autumn <laughs> autumn has definitely started you know it's um, end of september already and uh, it is the very nice part of autumn where all the leaves are still on the trees so it's not grey yet and uh, it's not freezing during the nights yet so I'm still able to like uh, keep my carrots in the ground and harvesting them to eat like one per day or something um, one bed of carrots became a disaster I don't know what happened to the carrots I clearly messed them up <laughs> at some point because they became like short little monster carrots but um, that's thankfully just one bed most of the carrots that I have are perfectly normal and not scary looking um, and um, what else sunflowers are looking really good and um, all of my potatoes, I didn't even film harvesting those because they were uh, attacked by maggots and I, out of like 40 potatoes I only found 4 that did not have maggot holes in them <laughs> or maggots poking out of them so yeah I did not get any potatoes uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm already getting excited for like next year, like I'm planning my my planting beds. I'm gonna get a couple new ones set in next spring. So yeah, I'm getting excited for next spring. But um, nothing else to update you guys on. I will see you guys next month at some point with another video. Maybe at that point the testimony comic will be finished. Uh, don't forget to look at the website for the Journey Upstream comic if you want to. I mean, you can just wait if you're hoping to just get the comic when it comes out. You can wait until uh, next year to peak. But yeah, nothing else. See you later. Bye bye.